everyone, this is wife and husband Lopez, and today is October 20th, and that's Elliot in the back, saying hi to, and what we're going to show you is a little um, update on what we had planted here for the, is this a fall or winter crop? These are winter crops. For the winter crops, and plus, yes, <laughs> Elias has corrected us. And um, we're also going to pull a surprise from these pots, just so you can see what we got. So, what are these that are growing? Those are um, rainbow carrots. Rainbow carrots. Um, this is from the first planting, so as you can see, these started to grow. And then I replanted again, and um, yeah. these are starting to come up. So, do you think we're expecting several of them, or just a couple of them? Well, there's... Quite a few. Yeah, about four or five on these, mm -hmm. which a lot of people say you need to thin in them. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to bother because they'll spread out. And then these are new ones, and they're starting to come up, along with some marlow, which I'm trying not to get to grow around the carrots. Why? Marlow is a is a is a weed, but an edible weed that we had in here and it didn't do very well but now it's coming up like crazy. So. so it's like, so it doesn't take over the nutrients for the carrots? Yes. Okay, so what do we have here? This is uh, Italian onions and they're doing a lot better than they ever have. I discovered a new method to make them grow better mm -hmm. and so we don't have to separate them. I separate them in a paper towel and then I plant them. So they seem to be doing pretty well. Um, and there's a barrage in there, right? And then there's a barrage, barrage in there, yes. Okay. And what's this little fellow that has like purple in there? These. This is a cultivated variety of um, lamb's quarter, hmm. which is a European wild um, vegetable. And it grows wild around here too. Most people think they're weeds, but it's an edible weed. And there's another it's very there. nutritious. It's very similar to a um, similar to like a spinach, and you can put them in salads too. So it grows very big, like a spinach. Yeah, it will get huge. It will get about three feet tall. And what's that leafy one? This really big radish. This oh, it's a radish. Yeah, this is a French breakfast, so we're gonna pick this one. I'm surprised that they usually don't get this big. The French breakfasts. So as you can see, the root that's there. Mm -hmm. And then... You're gonna pull it? Yeah. Look at the size of this sucker. Oh, I accidentally pulled out the other one too. Isn't that huge? Well, this is my hand. So... These are our hands. Yes. <laughs> and that's the size of the radish, the ra radish, which to my surprise is kind of long. Because before, like, the radishes that I know are kind of round and they're like half of this size. So that's good. And the leaves are also edible, you were saying, right? Yes. So are we going to eat the leaves? Yes, we are. Do you know what you're going to make with it? Mm-hmm. Do you know what you're going to make with it? Mm, I'll probably just eat it raw. Raw? Leaves will like a salad? Are we going to do a salad? Yeah. So that's the biggest one I've ever seen them get. They're usually pretty small. Mm, I'm happy. But that got huge. And these are the same color and actually texture as a radish. And they're usually half the size, so... And then you can see it's not over woody or anything. No, it's, it feels nice. Yep. Let's hope that it tastes that good. So or maybe it crossed radish. with another radish. Ah, ha, ha. So. And what happened to the small one? Are you going to plant it again? No, we'll eat it. These grow really fast, so... Um, there's one here that's coming out. Let's yeah. see. Are you going to push it under? Yeah, so this is usually they're only about this big. Yeah, I, I know that. I've seen them that small. So the other ones are not ready yet. This one is ready. Okay, that's usually this size. Yeah. So. Sorry for this, the background noise, but yeah. Okay, the other ones are not ready yet, so... So do you cover them a little, or do you let them show, no, like... No, that's fine. They're usually are above ground most of the time, anyways. And... Here we have the giant one, and then we have the little one. 
So, thank you for watching.